Hi, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the Excel 2010 course and this is week number six. And this is part three and part three is the final part for week number six. Just a quick reminder is that all the tutorials will be posted on the website www.10minutetrain.com and then of course here's some other websites if you're interested and you can go directly to the YouTube channel which is at www.youtube.com forward slash 10 minute train so with that said I'm gonna jump right in here what is I'm gonna talk a little bit and demonstrate smart art and then we'll look at clip art and then we'll look at drawing so uh, in order to use smart art what you do is go to the insert tab and you'll notice over here in the illustration section you've got several options here you can insert a picture um, you know an existing file like a JPEG file that you've got there's clip art shapes and smart art and then of course you can do a screenshot here um, but what I'm going to do I'm going to start with smart art and when you launch that you'll see you'll get lots of categories over here this is all of them listed here um, but what you can do is go down here and go to these different categories so if you wanted to create a list um, or process. Process tends to be pretty um, popular so let me see if I can find a good one here. I think there is, th so this is a, a nice one to put on the top of a document. You can go over here and I'm going to select that and you'll see what will happen is it will bring up your um, text options here. So let's assume that this is, um, I don't know, you're designing something. Uh, or you're going to do requirements gathering. So let's say it's a software edit requirements. And then you go down here and you can put uh, build test. And then to add a, add a new bullet point, just hit enter and it'll be it'll add one. And you can say um, Boy, obviously that's more simple than it would be but anyways then you can take this and you can move it around you can copy it into another document whatever you want to do so that that's one option there and if you want to change it you can go down here and change it into any of these other ones so there's lots of options there in smart art if you want to um, experiment with any of those and you'll see there's there's lots of them there's um, hierarchy so like an organization chart you know you could you could go ahead and you know build that like that and you know departments or whatever so anyways that's what I wanted to share with you with this um, with the smart art now I'm going to jump over to the um, clip art I'm going to go ahead and click clip art and you'll see what will pop up I searched for baseball content before but let's assume that I wanted to find I don't know golf so you're running some sort or you're building a, some sort of flyer for golf. You can click um, put in the search box over here. You can put golf. You click go. And if you choose this include office.com content, it'll find um, pictures from the internet. So you can go over here and you can find the one that you want to find. And like this one here as an example, I could just click it, select it, bring it in. And then what I can do, you can see this is very large, so I can go in here, I can right click the picture, highlight the picture, and do format picture. And now I can go in and I can edit it. So how I can do that, I can go to size, and then I can keep the aspect ratio um, in the same, uh, keep it the same to keep the picture you know, high quality. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go down make it 50% as an example so now I'm going to say close and there you have it right so now you can do you know put that on top of a flyer or whatever you'd like to do uh, what else did I want to share with you I wanted to let me move this down actually so I'm going to close out of that and now what I want to do is go into the shapes so the shapes can come in handy you can do lots of things with these so for example you can go into um, an arrow and you just hide, click the arrow and then put it where you want it so I could put it there then I can resize it if I want to um, I can edit it I can change the fill I can right click it and do format shape 
and I can change the, the color of the fill to be, I'll make it red in this case. Um, and then I can do lots of different um, uh, edits to it. So you can experiment with those. But that might be something you might want to do, you know, if you had step A and then over here you had step B, you know, step A leads to step B and so forth. So you can customize that as needed. There's lots of shapes in here. Another good one is um, these arrows that you can use, double-sided arrows. One other thing that you can do in here is you can do, um, you'll notice when you go over these, these will highlight and you'll see this one here will be scribble. So what I can do there that would be like a freeform pen so I could do you know I could draw it however I wanted to right and then I could make you know smiley faces or whatever I wanted to do in, in that document so I'm gonna go ahead and undo that and some other things I want to share in here with you are there's also um, you know you've got smiley faces let me just click that I'll put that right there um, you've got, this is another popular one too, you can do these pop-up um, call-outs. So I could go here as an example, and a pop-up, and then in the box here I can type, uh, like let's say I was showing a payment, this will be your final payment. And let's say I put the payment over here and I put $400. Now I could take that, see where you have the little yellow um, triangle there, or diamond. You can just click it and drag it, and drag it to wherever you want to. Oh, let me get rid of that. And finally, you can edit some of these. When I go in here, um, you can see anywhere where there's yellow, you can edit it. So, for example, turn the smile into a frown, change it back. Um, another thing you can do is highlight a lot of these pieces of, um, a lot of these shapes. What you can do is highlight the shape, go into Drawing Tools. Uh, once you highlight the shape, that'll come up, hit Drawing Tools, and then you can go into the Format section, and you can change it over here, so you can change it to different styles, right? Um, probably not so applicable on this one, but... So you can go in and do lots of different things, like you can change um, text effects, text fill, change the word art styles change the shape styles which would be applicable to the face here um, so if I change it over here let's change it to this blue one so there you've got the um, you've changed the uh, format of that and then another thing you could do you can go over here and go edit shape and go to edit points and what that'll do is give you all these points on here that you can edit so for example if you wanted to give this face a, um, a pointy head oh, I didn't I get both pieces you can do that you can move you know you can edit this however you want to so that's what I wanted to share with you today hopefully that helps and thanks for joining take care